country, you know, we do know more about the really terrifying and tragic set of circumstances that that UC student walked into on Tuesday night. As for Dickey, who's accused of committing multiple crimes, he's here behind me in the Hamilton County Justice Center on a bond that now totals $450,000. Asbury Quinones says she came entirely too close to suspected dog killer Dwayne Dickey late Tuesday night. I heard the shots, but I didn't completely register that they were shots. Investigators say what Quinones heard were shots aimed at one of her neighbors, a UC student, and his dog, Rhea, a two-year-old Newfoundland. Police say Dickey broke into the student's Clifton View apartment on Clifton Avenue and was in the student's bedroom when the student came home. The defendant pulled a gun on him. The gunshot went through the victim's sweatshirt. They wrestled over the gun. Uh, the victim uh, eventually let the victim, the suspect, go because the suspect said he'd leave. The suspect on his way out of the bedroom and out of the apartment stopped in the living room and shot the victim's dog in Newfoundland four times, resulting in the death of that animal. He said he was trying to get out, and then I saw the shadow of a gun right here. Quinones, who'd been doing laundry in a common area, says she saw Dickie and the stolen gun he's accused of using. I remember hearing him say, I'm trying to get out of here. And the guy is on the ground, and I saw the shadow of the gun next to him, so I just shut my door and locked it real quick, told my kid to hide in the closet. Police took Dickie into custody a short time later. They found him hiding underneath the stairs, which is right by my window. Quinones is glad Dickie is behind bars, but she's devastated for her neighbor, who's grieving the loss of his beloved Rhea. And he's one of the nicest people. Like, I can always hear him coming down the stairs because his dog is all big and floppy. I'm so upset about Rhea. My kid has known that dog since she was like two. Now, I also had a chance to talk to Ray Anderson today. He's spokesman for Hamilton County's dog wardens. He called the situation mind boggling and just beyond the pale. Based on what he knows about the situation and about the case, Anderson says that Ray's owner begged Dwayne Dickey not to shoot the dog. But again, according to police, Dickey did so anyway. Reporting live tonight, Todd Dykes, WWT News.